What is up guys? We are back here for another episode of Intuitive Engineering. I cannot wait to share this one with you. We are going to be going over the model build, a little bit of the design, and the first round of testing. I'm going to have some montages, some test video, a little bit of fail, and a whole lot of success. So, let's get to it. Okay guys, just to get started, I wanted to show the finished CAD model so you have a better idea of what I'm building throughout the whole build montage. It's got a curved front wing, flat rear wing, rudder, motor, all kinds of different parts, so enjoy. You guys, I am stoked. We finally got our first half wing made here. The two stringers cut. I am excited. So, that's our mast's approximate size and shape. So, you can see it's almost as long as the wing. And then that's going to be like right there. Take a look, the mask cap is done. She looks pretty good. All right. Guys, do another quick update on the electronic situation. So the current plan here is a 3S or 4S battery. Got a power module, and we got the speed controller over here, and that's going to this 2207 drone motor. So it's gonna be our initial propellant. And we just got some bullet connectors here to lengthen the wires. Then we got a steering servo. And a FreeSky XM Plus, so that'll be our receiver. Hawk here, knockoff of course, and a GPS module. So this should give us enough connectivity and control to uh, collect some good data.
All right, guys, we're getting real close. Last thing I gotta do is just put a hole right here for these wires, for the servo and uh, three motor wires. And we're gonna go right here, and then silicon carney it in, and we'll be done. All right guys, wanted to give you a quick update on the physical board. We got the front wing completed yesterday, and uh, it's pretty sweet, I gotta say. She'll do the business. And uh, we got the stringers underneath there. So, and then our adjustable angle guy here, so you can see it's a pretty far, high AOA right now, but we'll adjust that later. Put some washers on it. Over here we got the rudder, the motor, we're working on the mass cap right now, it just got off that 3D printer. But we got our rudder here, and then our, our motor, and then the uh, rudder servo. And this guy just has a little horn here that's going to attach. And then we got our rudder pin, which I am going to zip tie. So, it's coming right along. Woo! Taking the boat out tomorrow. I am so fucking excited. This is going to be amazing. Let's get him! What is up guys? We're here at the beach, getting ready for the maiden flight. And I couldn't be more excited and nervous. So, we got everything over here. There's a little boat. We're gonna add some buoyancy on the back. Add some, uh... A little bit of schmoo where she needs to go on the connectors should be ready to go so with that let's get to it so when we got out to the test site the boat needed a little more buoyancy as the pvc board i used did not displace very much water so I had to go back and add a couple more empty water bottles put one on the front to help keep the front from diving as well and these made a big difference in the floating height and the ability to get the boat out of the water since the front wasn't getting submerged again. So these small changes helped us get ready to keep testing. All right, let's give her a rip. We just have a shitload of power. Looks like I need more front wing angle. Right. Yeah, I need to lower the angle of the rear. The rear wing's at four degrees. It's definitely too high. All right, uh, let's take her into the shop. Okay. Let's give her a rip. Once we figured out the back wing angle problem, things went really smoothly and it started to fly really well. So just got to correct the roll instability going forward. Woo! All right, so we should do the money shot, huh? Once again for the second time. Third time. Second, third, fourth time. All right. I didn't work.
making it to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned. I'm gonna continue making videos about this and we're gonna make some updates. Get this board working like a hot damn. We're gonna put some little winglets or do some front wing design and get some buoyancy up in here so she planes real nice. Gets up on foil, no props. So stay tuned for those videos. And of course, if you're interested in checking out something else, look in the description box. I've got links to my CAD models and my calculations. It's all open source for everybody to check out. You can use the OnShape link and it will allow you to view the CAD model in your browser. So that's pretty cool. And as always, please leave like likes, questions, comments, anything, things I did right and wrong. Always love to shoot the shit with you guys. So please do that. And if you really like the project and want to do something more, please consider donating my Patreon. I put the link in the description box. Anything helps and uh, it'll make sure that we get the right equipment we need to make this project a real success. So thank you again, guys. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.